Hi everyone. This is super easy. You've all seen these, right? You just slide the knot and it gets smaller, you know, shorter and longer. You can shrink it to tiny or you can make it big. And the only tools you use is nylon cord, a lighter scissors, and some sort of bead with two holes in it. These have, these are little slide beads, so it has two holes. The key really is nylon cord because nylon cord melts. I got it at Michael's. The key was um, finding a cord that fit through there, but snugly. And so this is the one millimeter cord and it slid too much. So as soon as I made it short and wore it, it slipped right down to long. So then you go to the 1.5 cord and it stays pretty snug. It doesn't pull as easy. And here's the key. This is the 1.5 cord. So the key is like this, just a little bit. And you don't want too much of a knot. Okay. Let's see if you can see, how do I hold that? It's hard to see. It's blurry, but you get the idea. It's got a little ball there. And you also have to do the other side. And, and you can use super glue if you want. Um, but you need to get that stiffened at this end. And it stays hot for a while. That nylon just melts. Okay. Because you want a point on this end. Because, there we go, we need a needle. And maybe I'll do it on this so you can see. So, oh, awesome. Thread right through, thread right through, and this is the point, let's find the necklace, where you put your necklace on. So remember, I'm showing you the easy way. You, you burn one end, so you have a little ball, you put your two beads on, and then you put your necklace on. So what you have now is a burned end, two beads, and a pendant. Now, pick up your beads, let me show you. You have your two beads like this. Remember they're threaded through the bottom? Just turn around and now thread it through the top. So now you've only had to make one needle. And do you see what I'm doing here? So two beads, your pendant, and then circle back through. Now this won't come out because we burned that end. And now all we have to do is burn this end. And remember we burned it into a, into a needle. And now we need to burn it into a ball. Sometimes it works better if you can get it to sort of hook like that. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Um, if you don't want it to hook, just make a little bit bigger of a ball. But it stays hot for a very long time. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. And then you pull it. And voila, you have a slide necklace. Now you put it on as a, a giant necklace. And then you pull these slide beads. Now this one has a gold bail on it, so I wouldn't necessarily use this one. But you get the idea. I use the big one so you can see it. You want it longer? Make it longer. You want it super long? Make it super long. But these little beads don't have a front and back. You know, they're the same on both sides. It's the coolest little bead. I'll tell you what I do on the cord length. I generally pick out about here, somewhere about there. So I just wrap the cord around my neck like this and I say right about there. Once you burn the ends and do all the stuff, you can go from this length and this one started out that length. I do all about the same, but you can start out super long to super short. Where to go? There it is. So you can kind of wear it as a choker. Bring it down a little bit. Wear it as a necklace that's, you know, what's that, like a, a 16 or an 18 inch necklace? But you get to decide. If you want a 16, you want an 18, you want a 17. You've got a 17. But if you're selling jewelry and you're selling them to customers, all you have to do is cut a piece of cord, you know, have some cords ready with the end burned. And if they say, oh, I want it to go from here to here, as long as it goes over their head, 
then they can have it anything from over their head to shorter, you know, or if they want longer. Um, so you get to play with it. And if they say, oh, this isn't, this isn't short enough, this isn't, you burn a little more. You cut it and burn a little more. Perfect gift for Christmas, I say. You can buy this or you can buy mini blind cord. So cord for mini blinds. And I got this from R and W wrote online and um, it's made in the USA, but it's mini blind rope uh, for your mini blinds. They make mini blinds or something there. I think they make mini blinds, but they at least make the rope. So they sell this stuff to you and it's, um, I don't know, like $5 for one of these. Um, but then I found nylon cord on eBay that's in silver. So I kind of like that idea because then I can do my silver bale, my silver beads, because I bought a boatload of silver beads, and silver cord if I don't want a black cord on my neck. That's it. Bye. Remember the slide necklace I showed you? It's just using beads with two holes. But then I got to thinking, why does it have to be two hold? Why can't it be a single hold bead? So I grabbed this awesome little bead. So now I only have a single hold bead, but boy, does this open up the possibilities. Found these awesome little beads and they're little faces. And so then you slide it up. You don't have to use the two hold bead. You can use any beautiful bead you want. Now that I've opened up the bead possibilities, I don't have to do a two-hole bead. I'm not limited on the hole size. I can use any bead I want. Single hole bead, I'm gonna do it. First, run it through both beads, put my necklace on, and now I am gonna go backwards, opposite direction, so that they're sticking out at both ends. There it is. Okay. So I put little balls on it. So now I've got my beads in the center with my thread sticking out the either side. You're just crossing them this way. It makes sense, right? You could tie a knot. And I'll tell you why I don't like the knot. If I had tied a knot there, it would show a string sticking out. It will always show that string sticking out. So if you can burn it, you've got this nice finished end that when you go to sell this or wear this, it, it has a polished, fine, you know, finished look instead of having knots tied in there. So I think it's a much better look. I like the nylon cord idea. The possibilities are endless, whether you're using a two hold or a single hold bead. Thanks for joining. Bye guys.